With iDVD, you can create a fully custom DVD, complete with multiple menus and custom buttons and backgrounds, and best of all, it's easy to do. When iDVD opens, click Create a New Project. Then, type a project name. You can choose if you want to create a standard or a widescreen DVD. When you're ready, click Create. Next, choose one of the great looking themes to establish the overall look of your DVD. You can click each theme to preview it. And don't worry, you can always change the theme later by just choosing another one. After you select a theme, click the placeholder title text and type the title that you want viewers to see for your DVD. Now that your project is created, you're ready to add your movies and pictures to your DVD. To add movies, click Media, and then click Movies. Projects you created using iMovie, as well as QuickTime compatible movies stored in your Movies folder, will automatically appear. You can preview movies by clicking the Play button, and clicking it again to stop. When you're ready to add a movie to your DVD, simply drag the movie from the media browser to your DVD menu. iDVD will create a button for your movie. You can change the button's name by clicking it and typing a new name. You can also drag the button wherever you want it. Next, let's add a slideshow. Just click Add, Add Slideshow, then change the button's name to what you would like your viewers to see and reposition it where you want the button. To add your photos to the slideshow, double-click the button and go to the media browser and click Photos. Here you can see all your photos in iPhoto. Then just drag in the photos that you want to add. You can even add an entire event to build your slideshow quickly. Another great way to customize the look of the menus in your DVD menu is to add your own video clips and pictures to the drop zones. To add a video clip to a drop zone, just click Movies. Then find the video that you want to add and drag it to the drop zone. The dotted line shows when the pointer is over the right spot. If you want a different part of the video to play in the drop zone, just select a drop zone and then move the sliders to change which part of the clip viewers will see. If you're using a theme with multiple drop zones, they might not all be visible on the menu screen at the same time. To easily edit all the drop zones, click the Drop Zone Editor button. Now you can easily see all the drop zones, making it easier to drag video clips or photos to each drop zone well. To try out your DVD, click the Preview button iDVD will open your DVD in a DVD simulator where you can click the menu buttons, watch your movies, and slideshows. To return to editing your DVD, just click the exit button on the iDVD remote control. And when you're done editing your DVD, just click the burn button to make a disc that can be played back in any standard DVD player.